Jordan's messy juice. You know when the last time was that I had ice cream? I'm actually asking you. Guess when the last time was that I had ice cream? Three months ago. It was two days ago. What? I haven't had ice cream in <laughs> at least two months. I'm just kidding. Two years. Yeah, right. Beat that. You <laughs> Oh man, this is the contest in my house. Hi Jordan! Okay, here it goes. So I have a really big crush on this guy from my youth group. He's really awesome! The only problem is I'm homeschooled and he goes to a public high school. I want to text him, but I'm afraid he'll think it's weird. Do you think he will like me even though I'm homeschooled? I don't know what to do! There are a bunch of other girls who like him at his school. Why- this is the problem. Why do you think that because you're homeschooled that he's not gonna like you? Think of it as an advantage. Don't think of it as a curse, okay? It's, if you change your mindset just like that, bam, poof. All of a sudden, you walk into the room, he's like, oh my word, she's a homeschooler. That's something that his public school friends can't say. Hey Jordan, what do you think of the trailer for Star Wars The Force Awakens? I'm not gonna lie, it looked unbelievable, okay? Unbelievable, but does that mean that I am skeptical still? Yes, I'm still skeptical along with everybody else So although I do think that those lightsabers are pretty sick It's like pew, pew. That'll protect you. Hi Jordan. I found two odd uses of apple cider vinegar for you Did you know that apparently it can be used to relieve pain from jellyfish stings and also to deter ants? I heard the jellyfish sting one I think one at one point, but I didn't know about the ants they probably just, I mean, it, I mean, I mean, I guess it makes sense because if you pour it on an ant, it would just, it, you know, the acid would burn it to death. <laughs> so, bye bye ant hill. <laughs> ah, stop crawling. Yeah, that'll work. Hey Jordan, Josh and Kelly do their Girl Meets World podcast and it's totally amazing. Just out of curiosity, do you watch Girl Meets World? Or did the BMW generation skip over you? I, I've seen a few episodes, I'm not like... I, I, see, here's the thing, I can't just like tell myself this TV show comes on at this time so I'm going to always watch it and I'm not really one to go online and take the time to find something on a website to watch it. Like, if I have to go to Disney.com, I'm not going to do that to go and find a a, a show. I, I don't know why. I mean, I, I could. It's not like I'm saying it's bad or anything. I just don't do it. So if, I, if, if like, I'm watching TV and I'm, like, eating something and I sit there and turn the TV on, it's on. I'll watch it, but it's not like I... And, like, it's a great show. Like, I, I, when I'm watching it, I feel like I'm emotionally invested, but I'm not, like, that committed to it that, I, it, you know... I'm not gonna watch it every single week. But if I just happen to be eating every time it was on every week, then I would watch it. Well guys, I know you've been wondering, this piece of work over here, it's coming out February 10th. And you know what you're gonna do when it comes out? You're gonna pirate it. Because you're a terrible person. Think about this. These people here, they're my friends. Would you do that to them? Would you? Would you just go on Spotify and listen to it? That's not helping. You think it is, but it's not. Go buy the darn CD. When it comes out, okay? February 10th. Be my friend. Be their friend. Let's all have a party together. Even though I don't know where the heck you live. So, <laughs> I'm not telling you where I live. <laughs> don't be messy. And leave really great messages for me. Because I feel like I need messages more than, more than you guys do sometimes. Really keeps me going.